Whenever I use Fruity Slicer or Slice X in FL Studio, I end up getting really annoyed. Both these plugins feel very clunky and limiting to use, so one day I got fed up and I started looking for a free alternative to use. Eventually, I found this plugin that I plan to use every single time I sample in FL Studio, and that's what I'm going to be showing you guys today. So here is the plugin. It's called Momentum by Big Fish Audio. Just like any other sampler, you start off by dragging your sample and dropping it into the plugin. You guys can see down here, you have your mixer and slice tab. So I'm gonna go to the slice tab first off. You can see here, it automatically slices your sample, which is nice. So if I wanted to, I could already start playing around with these samples. As well, it gives you the option to automatically slice on the grid. So I have a whole bunch of options I can choose from here. As I mentioned before with SliceX, one of the things that really annoyed me with that plugin is just how difficult it is to try and test out and experiment how the sample sounds with different types of pitches without actually stretching out the sample. So SliceX does give me the ability to try out different pitches up here, but this also stretches out the sample. So if I tried to pitch this up, it shortened the duration of the sample. If I tried to pitch it down, it stretches out the sample. Now you can go in and hit Alt T on Slice X and you can start playing around with the stretcher here, but it becomes really annoying to try to preview what these adjustments would sound like. So I'd have to drag this around, hit preview, drag it around, hit preview again. If I wanna try multiple sections of the sample out, it'll just play back the original chop that you selected. With momentum, playing around with your pitch becomes a lot easier in a few different ways. For example, I can go to the mixer tab here and I can play with the pitch of my sample from this section here. I can preview the different sections of the sample, which is nice, and it doesn't stretch my sample, which is very important. Another way of doing this is if you go back into the slice area, you guys can see here, it gives you the ability to play around with the pitch. So if I turn this on and I go to the FX tab, I can assign different pitches to different chops, which is really huge as well. So for example, I can pitch this slice up here and pitch this one down. So this lets me quickly experiment with different portions of the sample, trying to hear how they sound with different pitches. And once I find one that I do like, I can easily just zoom out of the sample and assign all the slices with that exact same pitch. Something that I really, really like, this might be my favorite part of the plugin is the random option here. So once I hit it, it'll just give me a bunch of different random pitches that I can play around with and preview. And I can just quickly go in and experiment, try to play around with different keys, try to see what sounds good to me and just quickly get good ideas. I should point out though that there's no adjusting of the auto slice feature in this plugin, which kind of sucks. Having said that, most of the other plugins that do have auto slicing, they don't really do it that well anyways. For example, if I have the same sample in Slice X and I try to auto slice, you guys can see, it does it either way too broadly or if I try to go to medium, it just gives me a ton of slices, which I can't really do much with anyways. Each of these slices end up being like a quarter second long. Fruity Slicer does have a better auto slice function. You can control it a little bit better down here. But at this point, it becomes really hard to adjust these actual chops. You can't move them around or anything, which again, is very limiting, very clunky. As well, momentum allows for continuous playback of your sample. Once the playback hits the end of a specific chop that you're playing, there's an option where you can continue the playback past that particular chop. So you guys can see here. It continued to play even though it hit the end of the chop, which is nice. So this is really helpful for experimenting just to understand how much of the sample would sound good for a particular chop. As opposed to Slice X, if I wanted to preview a particular chop. If I wanted to hear what's after this chop, I have to start playing the different keys afterwards and it just becomes really difficult and clunky to get a good feel of what the sample's doing. And so unlike Slice X, if the auto chop gives you way too many chops, it's not that big a deal just because you can continue to play back and try different parts of the sample out as opposed to Slice X, which will just give you a bunch of useless slices that are way too short and you can't do anything with them anyways. But if you don't like that feature, you can quickly go into the mode section here, change this from loop to shot. And now when I hit a key, it'll end right when the chop ends. To quickly jump back into this section here, this lets you set a loop point with these white bars on both sides here. 
So if I want this part to be the entire loop, what happens is if I start playing that portion of the sample, it'll just loop over and over again. Backwards, this is pretty self-explanatory. It'll just play in reverse. Boomerang, this will play forwards and then backwards. Next to this, we have stretch or beat. So what stretch will do is play back your samples in accordance to what the BPM of FL Studio is or whatever your DAW is that you're using. So you guys can hear when I had it on beat, it sort of had that pause in between. But if I change this to stretch, It slows the sample down a little bit so it stretches to exactly what FL Studio's BPM is set to. And that way you won't have those pauses or breaks in between the chops. So I'll show you why this is useful here. If I click this icon, this is going to dump everything as a MIDI. Now if I go into Momentum and I hit Beat, when I play this back, it's not going to bother stretching out the sample to match what the FL Studio BPM is. But if I change it to Stretch, It's going to stretch automatically to match what the BPM of FL Studio is, so it's a very powerful tool. So if I bring this BPM down to 60, for example, you guys can hear it's going to stretch to be even slower now. So this is another one of my favorite features, just a very super powerful, very useful feature here. We don't have to bother stretching out each of these chops one by one, it'll just automatically do it for us. Next to this is speed. This is exactly what you think it is. If I set it to 0.5, all of the chops are going to play back at half speed. If I put 2x, it's going to double the speed. Now, if you want to manually stretch out your samples without changing the BPM of your beat, you can do that too. So you guys can see the sample here defaulted to 92.6 BPM. Basically putting a lower number in the BPM here speeds up the sample and putting a higher number stretches out the sample. So if I put 60, for example, and if I put it up to 120, it just slows it down. Personally, I would have liked if this was a slider here that would do the exact same thing just to help me quickly experiment with different stretches of a particular chop, which it would have just been helpful. But compared to Fruity Slicer and Slice X, this just lets me do a lot more in terms of pitch shifting and time stretching right on the main interface. I don't have to mess around going into a bunch of different menus to try and change the pitch around, and I also have a ton of control over each of my chops. It's just so much better than both of those plugins in my opinion. So a few other options here. You can see key. If I wanted to enter in the key of the actual sample, I could. This also doubles up as another means of pitch shifting if I wanted to. If you want to mess around with a bunch of different FX, you guys can see here, it gives you a ton of different options. So I can click these three dots right here. It'll bring up a bunch of more FX. So for example, here's Pitch Glide. And all you have to do is just go in and just tap around, click with the different values here that I want to play with. So I can change the amount here. Each of these plugins also have multiple tabs. So here, this one has amount, which is the blue indicator and speed. So I can increase the speed. So right at your fingertips are just tons of effects that you can quickly choose from and experiment with, just super helpful as well. Another cool feature is if I go to the very first section of my sample and I create a pattern that I like. And if I like the way that sounds, I can go to repeat and I can repeat the pattern that I created in the first two slices by clicking this first two slices. And you guys can see it automatically copy and pasted that exact same pattern into the remaining chops. And you can do this for however many slices that you want. Super helpful as well. If I don't like what I did, I can just hit clear. And I'll just clear out everything that I have for that particular effect that I have highlighted down here. So this didn't change my pitch around, which is nice as well. You don't clear out absolutely everything. So this lets you play around with individual slices. If I want to do the exact same thing with my effects on the main sample overall, just go to the mixer tab here. And again, a bunch of different options here where you can play around with different types of FX. By the way, if you end up using this plugin, make sure to highlight slice down here because if you don't, it doesn't play back the actual slices that you're playing around with. So in summary, this is definitely going to be the plugin that I use for all of my sampling needs in FL Studio. It just gives you a whole bunch of options to be very experimental really quickly, try out a bunch of different ideas without having to go in a bunch of different menus and I can quickly make my adjustments. These are things that both Fruity Slicer and Slice X lack in my opinion. Some of the things that I would like to see though, if the auto slicing function did have a sensitivity just like Fruity Slicer does, that would be nice. 
Again, a stretching option here, like a little slider instead of the BPM would be nice just to help me quickly experiment and not have to type in using my keyboard. Quick zooming would be nice instead of having to drag these little bars around if I can just use my scroll wheel on my mouse and maybe some presets for the effects, that would be nice too. But overall, this is such a great plugin. This is definitely something that I'm gonna be using going forward. So it's easy, let me come up with a little loop here that I can turn into a full beat again. Super easy to go in, come up with an idea and just run with it. If you guys are interested in downloading this plugin, I put a link in the description box below. Again, it's absolutely free, which is awesome. Also, if you guys want to download my drum kit, it is available in the description box below as well. Comment down below if you guys like this plugin. Again, like, subscribe, do all that good stuff, and I'll see you guys next Tuesday.